If you're like me, you like pipe tobacco and you love cigars, but has anybody ever tried to combine the two? We're going to try it. Stay tuned. Well, for Pete's sake, have a cigar production. Sometimes I just sit around and I'll be thinking about all the things in my past, how they trickle down. All the pains in our memories are with us now. They just ripple down and though little name. Hey there, YouTube. As blasphemous as it could sound to some cigar smokers, I am going to combine this cigar with this pipe tobacco. This is just a Sosa that I'm going to be trying it out on. It's a nice, cheap, everyday cigar. And this is some Lane 1Q, a really popular pipe tobacco blend. I've always been curious what the two would taste like together. I like to have a pipe every once in a while. Um, it really has that kind of sweet smell to it. And it's really wonderful. And I, li I like to have them every once in a while. And as all of you know, I absolutely love cigars. Um, but I've always been intrigued by the thought of what would the two taste like together. And so what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to make a couple punch hole cuts like uh, in three different areas along the cigar and we are going to stuff some pipe tobacco in there and then I'm going to use the cigar glue and take uh, from what I cut off the end of the Sosa and patch those holes up the best I can and then we're gonna smoke it and see what it's like. Uh, it should be pretty interesting so stay tuned to uh, find out how this goes. I'm gonna go ahead and take the band off the cigar and I'm going to select three different locations on the cigar. I want it to be pretty true as it starts. And then maybe about an inch back, I want it to be the first hole. So then once it gets to the pipe tobacco, um, we will see a definite change there. And then maybe get a little gap in there so I know when it's through the pipe tobacco and back into the regular cigar tobacco. Um, and I'm really interested to see what those changes will be like. So here we go. I'm choosing to do the punch cuts here first because I'm not going to reuse the punch hole that I make in the cigar. I'm going to actually use where I cut the cap off. I'm going to use that tobacco to fill in the holes I make here for the pipe tobacco. All right, so there's number one. <laughs> I just realized this is going to look like a flute when I'm done with it. Oh, well. It's cracking a little bit, but so far it's held up pretty nicely. So now... I'm going to take a big cut off of the cap, more than you normally would, um, and I'm going to make sure I hold it so I can put some cigar glue on it to keep it from completely unraveling. And then we'll get on to stuffing these holes with some pipe tobacco. So here we go with the cut. I'm going to come in uh, just over the cap completely, and I'm going to hold right here to make sure that this uh, cigar doesn't come completely unraveled. There it goes. And then I'm just going to take a little bit of the cigar repair gel. And then this side has already started to come up a little bit, so I got it just in time. And I will put a little of the cigar glue on that flap. And just paste that right back down. Next, I want to dig out a little bit of the tobacco that's in these holes. And then I will have enough room to put a little pipe tobacco down in there. And then we'll light this thing up and try it. And all I'm using tonight to get the tobacco out of the holes is just a little screwdriver, and that's it. It should do the job. All I'm doing is just kind of working this around in a circle and being careful not to completely damage the cigar. I just got to get some of those tobacco leaves to fall out a little bit. So that's all you do. Do those to the three holes. And like this one, there's plenty of room now to get some tobacco down in there and do our experiment. I'm going to do these other two, and I'll join you back here in a second. Okay, just finish these up, and as you can see, they're nice and deep. They're probably about a half inch deep or so, not quite half the width of the cigar. So most of the cigar is still intact. I had to uh, get a little cigar glue and put underneath some of these edges because they are wanting to lift up and crack. I mean, it's natural. That's what cigars do. They're very delicate. So just uh, use some cigar glue um, the best that you can to keep it all intact. So far, so good. And now let's stuff this with a little pipe tobacco and seal it back up. So as you can see, these holes filled in quite nicely with the pipe tobacco. And actually, as long as you keep the outside wrapper intact, I don't really see reason to even put caps over them. They could just sit right here because I did pack them in quite tight. And so really none of it's going to come out. Um, I think you're good to go. I would like to introduce you to the world's first 
Pagar. Um, and or pipe and cigar, <laughs> however you want to look at it. I'm eager to get this thing lit up. It's already cut, so let's light it up and uh, see what it's like. I will have to be gentle with this as I was just putting on my lips. The wrapper is cracking a little bit. It is still staying together pretty good. Um, so we're going to go ahead and go along with it. I'll just have to be extra gentle with it and uh, baby it along. But I'm very eager to see what the taste will be like. So here we go. Well, so far the draw is really loose on it. The cigar is coming apart a little bit, but um, so far so good. It tastes like a Sosa. I'm gonna see if covering these holes was a better idea. Oh yeah. So, yep, that's for next time. Definitely cover these holes with uh, some tobacco. The draw is way too loose without these covered. I thought that packing the pipe tobacco in there would seal it enough, but it needs a lot more than just that. Well, while I'm able, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use some of the tobacco from the cap and plug these holes real quick because it really is murder trying to get this to uh, draw right. <laughs> uh, talk about a bad looking cigar. But. Nonetheless, it's going to do for our experiment, so I'm going to keep going on this, and I will let you know how it is coming along. Much better on the draw. Well, as you can see, I'm almost to the first pack of pipe tobacco in there, and it's really cool and really intriguing because you start, if you whiff the smoke into your face a little bit, you can start to smell the Lane 1Q before it even gets to it officially, which I think the cherry is just starting to heat it up a little bit. Um, so it's pretty cool actually. Even though it's a really deformed cigar, I gotta find a better way to make this happen. Um, but so far it's really good. I'm mean, starting to get just little hints in my mouth. It was more of the foot smoke that I was smelling before um, that had the pipe tobacco in it. Now I'm starting to get a little bit of it in my mouth. That's the one drawback to me um, of pipe smoking is the tongue bite. I really, really despise the tongue bite. I, I love the flavor and aroma of pipe tobacco. If there's a way to not have that sugary chemical burn on your tongue, uh, that would be great. Maybe this is a solution to, you know, every once in a while I'll get that little flare of uh, pipe tobacco in there and not get the tongue burn. So we'll see. Well, as you can see, I've gotten right up to the pipe tobacco in there and the foot smoke really reminds you of the Lane 1Q. Uh, it still has a little bit of the cigar in there, but the pipe tobacco is dominating for the most part off the foot smoke. And as far as the taste in your mouth, it's not full on pipe tobacco because there's just a little bit there, but it definitely is there. So off, as far as that, more of the aroma in the foot smoke is what I'm getting right now. Um, but still, all in all, very, very nice. Um, it just kind of morphs the flavor of the cigar a little bit. It's actually burning really well now. Yep, this is the world's first Pagar. <laughs> I'm glad you guys could be here to witness it. So I've gotten completely through one of the packs of pipe tobacco and it went right back into a regular cigar flavor again. Uh, just a real small hint of the pipe tobacco still there. Um, but the cigar is taking back over again. And uh, so I don't know. It, it, like I said, it's it was just an experiment of mine. Um, I can't see that I would do this every time or even once a month. It might just be like a once or twice a year thing. But I just wanted to share an experiment with you that I was trying. And if that's something that you think that you would like, go ahead and try it. And since I still consider this a cigar, for Pete's sake, have a cigar. And we'll see you next time, guys. Enjoy this.